back when I was a pastor, I sat in a small meeting with a few of our leaders and Pete, Pete Menconi was um, an influential person in the shaping of my pastoral life and the, the launching of our church. And Pete asked me in front of my leaders, do your people know your story? And I said, what story? And he said, your story of race, your story of yourself as a man of color and the pain in your journey. I said, no, they don't, because I don't even know that story. And he said, well, you need to, and you need to share it with your people. That was a really jarring conversation and it exposed me. And it began really a journey that has really been fruitful for me, for me to explore my story as a man of color. And that was a messy moment. That was an uncomfortable moment, especially because it happened in front of a few of my leaders. It was very appropriate. It was from the heart to the heart, but it was a little uncomfortable. And that's what I want to ask you to think about a, a pivotal moment. It could have been a conversation. It could have been an auto accident. Any, any number of things could have led you to become more of who you have become and set you in a certain direction. So we're talking about how to connect your personal story to your mission story, because the project that you're part of, the cause that you represent, the organization, the business, the ministry, whatever it is, if you're leading it or you're deeply involved in it, there are reasons for it. some that are obvious because of the cause, but some that are not so obvious that are really powerful when you pull back the curtain and share the story. So I'd like to talk with you today about an element of how to do that, how to connect your personal story. And it just goes back to some of the ingredients in storytelling. And this one today I'd like to talk to you about is setting. And to do that, I'd like to reach back several thousand years into a story about a woman. And this happens in the days when the judges ruled. It says there was a famine in the land. And we're talking about the setting of this person's story. And we don't have to know anything about the Bible, but we read the single verse and we know this is happening in a given kind of a political season when there was a certain kind of ruler rulership going on and a famine happened. As it turns out, we know from other places that in the scriptures that in the days when the judges ruled, Everyone did what was right in their own eyes. There was war and violence. There were unhealthy, dysfunctional cycles in, in the society. That was all going on and it serves as the backdrop for the story we're about to learn. So I'd like to apply that to you as you tell your personal story and connect it to your mission story. Think of a defining moment in your life a time that shaped you, a pivotal moment. It could have been a positive moment, but chances are it was an upsetting time, a time of loss, a time of heartbreak. Maybe it was when your parents told you that they were breaking up. Maybe it was when your own marriage broke up or you had a heartbreak. Maybe it was during a time of a health scare and a diagnosis, whatever it was, I want you to go back to a, a story, an event that somehow you would say that was important. Now that I think of it, that really did matter in my journey. And if somebody were to tell my life story and not include that episode, they'd be missing something. Or if I added that episode, it would connect. So you think about that defining moment in your life. And so the setting question asks, what else was happening at that time? What was happening in the world? Was that way back in the time of the Vietnam War? Was that in the 80s? Did it happen in, in the, in the, against the backdrop of 9-11 or the pandemic? These background pieces, I told you that my conversation with Pete happened when, when I was a pastor uh, of a congregation and I'm no longer. And really that conversation was pivotal to me arriving at 
what I do today, serving people of color, serving, um, you know, urban faith leaders, different people. You know, it's like I, I, I went through a journey that led me to my own personal calling for this particular season. So I didn't realize that at the time, but I realize it now. So what is a pivotal moment in your story? How did it somehow lead you to where you are today? When you get up at a fundraiser or you get up on a Sunday morning to get, deliver a sermon at, a, at an important mo morning, or, or you make a presentation or pitch, it'll come from the heart and, and touch hearts when you say, you know, back when I was nine years old, this happened in my family. And after that, our family was never the same. And as you kind of tell that story just enough to give the, the connection, you say, and that's part of why I'm standing before you today. And when you do that, it's powerful. So give that some thought. I'd love to know what you're thinking about in your story and the setting of it. And I'll come back next time and we'll talk about the hero of your story and the characters who surrounded you in your story. So look forward to talking more to you. Please tell me what you think. Share this with anybody you like. Leave a comment and we will talk to you soon.